Hey everybody, um, hope you've been well. I know it's been a while, but um, you know, with the elections, homecoming, midterms, there's so many reasons, you know, to be completely distracted um, in your activities and um, guilty as charged, except I haven't been really paying too much about attention about the presidential elections. But anyways, what you see in my hand is my new poetry book. My cat is here and I am not sure how well this is going to go, but we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, this is my new poetry book. It's called Seasons, Identifiable Poems. Um, this is a book, technically the content I've been working on since I was like a teenager, my like early teens, maybe 14, 15 up until now but in to create the entire book it took me about four or five months i don't know i think i started um before summer like two months or so before summer um and yeah it's called seasons because it basically like i kind of explained it showcases my growth throughout different periods of my life um from the way i used to think and used to in, um, interpret events to my now current state um as a more maybe matured Christian, I mean, I have a lot to learn in my um, walk in faith, but as far as um, <clears throat> where I am to where I was, definitely a change in seasons. Um, and identifiable poems because I really, my goal with this is to have people relate, um, people be able to see themselves in this, this book, in the words in this book, um, and to be inspired, to be, um, for it to be relatable to you guys, um, my readers. So I will leave a link down below. And um, the really cool thing about this is that when you go check it out, it gives you a sampling of like two to three poems so you know what you're investing in. And um, I really hope more than um, anything that you guys can um, take an opportunity to support an artist um, just so we can build a better communi community amongst each other. Um, really to help each other appreciate our, um, our individual gifts and then showcase it and share it with the world. You know, um, a lot of us really just need a, a place to share, people to share it with, um, uh, somebody who will receive the message, receive our, our gifts, um, the seeds that God has planted within us. And um, yeah, so this would be a really cool thing. I would definitely appreciate it. And more importantly, I would really, 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 I do believe that um, you will enjoy reading this book. So today's Poetry Fridays and I have been so behind on that but today is the day and what better than to use one of the poems in my book as the poem for today's Poetry Friday. Um, I didn't pick it out but I will today right now. Actually I already kind of knew what I was going to do. So um, this poem is called Sea of Megabytes and I had I, I performed this poem before and it didn't really go well, but God is good. <laughs> Amen. So this is going to be just me chilling at home and reading this poem. So less stressful circumstances. All right. So sea of megabits. Enjoy, like, comment, share, subscribe, and please share this link for this book um, with as many people as you can. Um, that it can be a gift for everyone who um, gets a chance to read it. So, like I said, <laughs> the poem is called Sea of Megabits. Okay. We live in a sea of megabits. Pixels resolution to capture every revolution. The events that matter most we recount through an Instagram post. And if anything is missed, we'd only just have to scroll up. Socially connected when we hype the same hashtag, but no living connections because it's too hard to grab your attention and say hi if you haven't been in my mentions recently. Jump from screen to screen. Don't get hit by the window pane. Born in a computerized age, click two for anything you need. Reminds you to remember, don't forget to check what's less important, to act on what's more important to do. Misplace, oh, life's over if all those gigs are gone from view, but it's lost on you because pros and cons weigh just as heavily. Well, Jesus is my home screen, it's cool, no problem. My device is just so heavenly. No way could priority get so mixed up. Authentic versus technological material. Sermons on Sunday always sound really good to you. Buzz, beep, ring, tweet, tweet, interfere with the frequency of your spiritual. 
Physically digital replaced with numbers on cell phones. Computational inclinations declines when it comes quickly. Simply, if you ask Siri, hold on to limitations and expand. What's good for a week now you have planned for many months span. Oceans seem realistically bigger, and one day we might be able to count the grains of sand. Though immediate personal connections may waver, the world has never been more connected. God must have seen T-Mobile's family data in his plan. Um, so yeah, that was Sea of Megabits. There are so many other <laughs> goodies in here. Um, I'm really excited to share my um, my love for poetry. Um, I've always really appreciated the words, the way that words can um, come together and formulate a thought, formulate an, uh, an entire expression, an entire emotion, an entire viewpoint. Um, I think you can kind of see a lot of um, the way that I think about the world and life in general through this book and I also hope that like I said it can inspire you and kind of um, I'm always I'm looking at my cat <laughs> um, but inspire you or really just relate to you or um, help you to see things in a different way so um, like if you got the gist of, of the poem it's really about how technology um, is restricting us but also in a way it's it's beneficial um, yeah, I was sitting with my sister in her room, and we were together, two people who loved each other, but we weren't sharing our time together. We weren't actually communicating, we weren't talking, we weren't, you know, exchanging ideas. We were both on our laptop, on our iPad, and on our phone, you know? So that kind of draws to the um, verse that I said, or the line that I said, um, jump from screen to screen, but don't get hit by the window pane, because, like, literally... When you um, look at your laptop all day or your phone all day, you start getting headaches, your eyes start hurting. It's literally physically painful and it's spiritually painful because um, this time that we could be spending with God, we'd rather be distracted on social medias, on um, our laptops. It's time that we should be using to study guilty as charged. We are using it um, on Instagram, on Twitter, on the first convenient app that we can find. And um, it's really detrimental to our own physical health, our spiritual health, our mental health, but not to take away from the beautiful, beautiful things that technology has helped us to do as far as medical t um, advancements and um, environmental advancements and things like that. So um, it, it really kind of points to the fact that we need to really um, learn to control ourselves. Uh, Self-control is a really important thing in the Bible, but um, amongst many other things, but it's really important for us to um, take into consideration how enslaved, as a strong w word, we are to um, our technology, and to our gadgets, to our iPads and iPhones and things like that. Um, so when you become conscious of that, you kind of realize how much time it's taking away from the things that you can really be doing to benefit others, to benefit, you know, to heal yourself, help yourself, to create a connection with God, which is so important. Um, you know, that's what he came here for to remind us, you know, make, create a connection with him, get to know him, he loves us, he wants us to know him and um, take refuge in him. But, you know, whenever we get stressed, whenever homework is too overwhelming, ooh, Instagram, you don't judge me, I'm gonna be here, just distracted on Instagram, and not hear Jesus over here telling me he loves me, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, really try to um, see the ways in which you can maybe change if you already, you know, leave comments um, in the description, in the, leave comments in the, uh, down below. I don't do this YouTube thing often. <laughs> leave comments down below so we can kind of start a discussion about, um, you know, where you are with technology, what the connection is with that. If you come from a place where you were completely engrossed and now you feel more liberated or if you're in a place where you're um, still stuck and we could do this together you know we can check up on each other um help each other grow out of that grow into god or grow into um self-love and you know all those other things that um that are very important in life so guys don't forget <laughs> don't forget um i would super 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 appreciate it and um this has been another poetry fridays with your host gabrielle i'm, I'm Joking. <laughs> I'm joking, but um, God is good and he loves you so much individually. I love you because my God loves you and um, I thank you so much for finding my 
lovely small channel on YouTube and taking the time out of your day to watch, subscribe, share, like, um, and all those other things that are implied. And um, buy the book, guys, and share with others. Buy 100 copies. You know, Christmas is coming up, so inexpensive, and I promise they will love it. So um, thank you so much again. God bless you guys. Take care, and I will see you soon.